This is a long, complicated sentence, and there are several ways to approach it. First thing I'll say is consider what is the sentence about? What is the real subject of this sentence? The sentence is really about the new maritime code. And so really that should be actively the subject right up front. And really the only place that that appears as the subject is in B. Everyone else, all the other forms, put the new maritime code somewhere. They stash in a prepositional phrase somewhere else in the sentence. So that's thing number one to consider. Thing number two to consider is that we're flip-flopping back and forth between provisions, the noun form, and provide, the verb form. In general, on the GMAT, when you have one of these flip-flops between a noun and a verb form, the GMAT is looking for the verb form. The verb form is clearer, it is more direct, it is more active. Verbs, after all, are the essence of action. So in B, we have the verb form provides. In C, D, and E, we have provisions. In A, oh, I love this, in A, we have there are provisions that provide. That's like having features that feature or characteristics that characterize. A is just an absolute disaster, so we're just going to get rid of it. Now, in C, D, and E, we have this phrase under the provisions of the new maritime code, and in all three cases, it's right against the word C area. So we have large sea areas under the provision of the new maritime code. So it's unclear. It's just a misplaced modifier. It's unclear are the conditions under the, the new maritime code. It's just that sea area under the new maritime code. So right away, there's a misplaced modifier problem happening there. Also notice that in E, for example, we have because which is a subordinate clause, and then which, another subordinate clause, and we don't actually have an independent clause. So E by itself is just a sentence fragment. So that's not working very well at all. Uh, in D, the word this, the antecedent of this is not clear. Really, this could refer to the situation, it could refer to the provisions, it could refer to the maritime code, it could refer to the tiny islands, the oil fields. So this is particularly unclear. So that's out. And in C, already stimulating, it's unclear what exactly is doing the stimulating. So this is an, an unclear construction also. B is the only one that is direct active. It has the active form of the verb provides. It puts the new maritime code as the subject of the sentence. It has no grammatical errors. It is by far superior to all the other answer choices.